Hey guys, how we doing? Let's, uh, let's talk about another way to analyze circuits. So the idea today is to use something called nodal analysis. And nodal analysis is just a, a way to write down the equations, Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law, essentially, in a way that diminishes the number of equations you have to actually write. It focuses on the nodes. So it's best used in circuits that have a small number of nodes. So here we have our old friend that we've been using all along. We, when we use nodal analysis, we're interested in nodes where we don't already know the voltage. So we already know the voltage of one of the nodes in this circuit. Um, there are two nodes that we don't know. I've labeled them here in node one and node two. So we're going to end up with two equations and two unknowns that we have to solve. So let's see how this works. Let's, let's talk about the ground node. First of all, all the nodes along the bottom are, that's actually just one node, because there are no elements that separate those guys. They're just connected with a wire. So that's actually a single node. We'll call that the ground node. Okay, then um, <clears throat> we've got node one, which is labeled N1 there. We've got node two. And I've actually drawn circles around two nodes, what look like two nodes there. But again, those two nodes are not separated by any element, and so you can Mathematically, they're just a single node. And finally, there's this other guy over there on the left. That's the source node. It's the node connected to the source that isn't ground. And uh, But we know it because it's connected to a fixed voltage source. We already know the voltage of that node. So it's not an unknown. So we don't have to write uh, an equation for that node. That's what I put this down to. Okay. And finally, I just want to highlight that that little funny symbol at the bottom there is a ground symbol. So that's just a notation that tells the reader or someone looking at our solution, an instructor perhaps, or a colleague, um, a teammate, that you're, with regard to your analysis, you're thinking of that node as ground. So we'll usually do that when we're designing a circuit. Let's focus on node one and write Kirchhoff's current law for node one. Now Kirchhoff's current law says the sum of the currents have to add up to zero. So we're going to think about what's the current leaving each of those nodes. So let's think about first the current leaving the node through the 4.3 ohm resistor. It's going to be the voltage at node 1, which I'm going to call V1, minus the voltage at the source node uh, divided by 4.3 ohms. That's just applying Ohm's law to that branch, calculating the, voltage, the current leaving that branch. Then what about the next branch? That's the branch that connects node 1 to ground through a 5.6 ohm resistor. It's going to be the voltage at node 1 minus the voltage at the ground, which is just 0, divided by the resistance of that branch, 5.6 ohms. Finally, let's think about the current leaving node 1 heading toward node 2. That's going to be equal to the voltage at node 1 minus the voltage at node 2, the delta of V, divided by the resistance of the branch, 2 ohms. And that's it. Now all I have to do is write out that the sum of those three currents has to be zero, and I get an equation. So that's the result of applying nodal analysis to node one. Okay. Notice that this equation is a single equation with two unknowns, v1 and v2. Okay. So let's look at uh, let's look at node two. Node two has three branches. I'm going to write out the sum of the currents leaving node two is equal to zero. The current leaving node 2 heading for node 1 is just V2 minus V1. Oh, that's an error. It should be V2 minus V1 over 2. So sorry about that. This should be a V1 here. But no time to change it now. So let's, uh, here I get V2 minus 0 over 9.1. That's this branch. And finally, this third branch, it's got a current source. So I know the current is negative 1.8 amps. So I don't have to write it. Ohm's law for that one. Okay, then I just add those three guys together and demand that they be zero. Uh, there I've got the thing fixed. So this is V2 minus V1. I fixed it here, but it's an error up here. But hopefully you can see that. I'll fix that in the source code and next time I render this movie it'll be right. But for now we're going to stick, stick with this one. Um, now I've got two equations and two unknowns. Each equation has V1 and V2 as an unknown, but I've got their two independent equations, so I should be able to make this work. So we're going to write out those two equations. 
the equation from node 1 is this guy. The equation from node 2 is going to be this guy. And then I just have to solve these two equations together. So first, I'll multiply through the denominators to get rid of all those guys. Do the same thing with the second equation. Then we're going to multiply through and then get all the v1s and v2s two together. So that bottom equation simplifies to this guy. We're going to do the same thing with the top equation. Oh, no, I'm actually, sorry. I'm going to uh, change this to a get rid of that denominator. And uh, we end up with this guy. So v2 is a linear linearly related to v1. We'll do the same thing with the top equation. First, let's multiply through with all the denominators. Then we'll uh, pull all the v1s and v2s together. Now notice I can substitute v2 with that bottom relationship that has a v1 in it. There we go. And now I have a single equation with v1 as the only unknown. So let's bring the v1s together. And then uh, again, bring the v1s together and then divide through by the 24.14, and I get a number. So I have a result for V1. Now I'm going to take that result for V1 and put it into the bottom equation, and then I can just multiply through to get V2. So that's it. That's how you solve those two node equations for the two voltages, 8.048 and 9.55. Now notice that once I do that, I can calculate the current in any branch, because I know the voltage at every node, I can just go back to my current equations. So let's say I go back to this guy right here. This gives me the recipe to calculate I1, I2, and I3 through these three branches. And then I can do the same thing, I1 and I2 here. For I already did that one. I need to do this one so I can um, <clears throat> solve for, for the current in that branch. So I can get the current in any branch. I want to emphasize also that this I1, I2, and I3 are just relative to node 2. They're simply the first, second, and third current leaving that node. They're not identified with particular resistors in the circuit um, in, in any absolute sense. Same way here. This I1, I2, and I3 are simply the current leaving node 1. Um, so that might be a little confusing. What I want to do now is to show you how you can... Let's scrunch this thing up. And let's look at how do I, uh, let's solve these guys using the computer this time instead of manually by hand, because that's kind of a pain. So you could uh, go to that, uh, right, go to the binder that I showed you before. Um, and we can simply in <coughs> define V1 and V2 as symbols. Like so, okay, and looks like I need to restart the kernel here. I'm going to rerun this cell. Yeah, that worked. Okay, good. So uh, let's just write these two functions. So the first function is going to be v1 minus 11 divided by 4.3 plus V, just V1 divided by 5.6. I don't need to subtract the zero because that doesn't do anything. Then it's V1 minus V2 over 2. That's function 1. Function 2 is going to be V2 minus V1 over 2 plus V2 over 9.1 minus 1.8. So those are the two functions. They're both supposed to be equal to zero when the equations are solved. So I can just tell... Um, SymPy to solve those two equations, F1 and F2, for the symbols V1 and V2, which I don't know. Boom, and it does it. And then you can see, if I go back to the end, it gets V1 is 8.048, yep, and V2 is 9.55. So everything turns out okay. So anyway, that's nodal analysis. This is a simple circuit. They get more complicated. But that's the basic idea. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon.